2.45 p.m., 15th of September, 1940. The battle rages over southeast England. Every available RAF fighter squadron is airborne and committed. British pilots are pushing themselves to the very limit. But inevitably, bombs begin to fall on the capital. By the time they arrived over the city, London was covered in cloud. They could not see their target, so they just threw their bombs out indiscriminately. All of a sudden, there was this tremendous thump, and the house shook. And they heard a bomb drop quite close, and then another one much closer. And I remember thinking to myself, I hope there's not a third. But there was. All the lights went out. It was pitch dark. All the dirt and dust came up from the floor. Everyone was choking. But fortunately, we were alive. Right next door to us was the pickle factory. Well, that got hit. And there was pickles flying everywhere. They were bottles bursting and oh, everywhere, because everyone owned the bikes, you know. There was pickles flying everywhere. Bombs dropped, and they dropped with a hell of a bang, and windows got blown in, and roofs got blown off, and very strange things happened to houses. You'd get them sliced right through, and there'd be a gap, and you'd see all the wallpaper of all the rooms uh, of that house that was still standing. But these were the ghosts of the house that had gone. During the war, people got killed. But you never looked at it from that point of view. I suppose the fighter pilots were the same, really. They just glad that they shot someone down. It was either them or us. The Luftwaffe has lost 79 aircraft and more than 130 aircrew, compared to RAF losses of 29 aircraft with 12 pilots killed. Nonetheless, it represents a stunning victory. It was a defining point in the war. Two days later, Hitler postponed Operation Sea Lion. He realized that the Luftwaffe had not defeated the Royal Air Force, therefore the invasion could not go ahead. And you felt so proud of these wonderful young men who was defending us. Yes, I mean, you, um, they were, in that sense, heroes to us. These were people who were giving their lives and protecting us. 